Hi everyone, Aiden here at the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the line of Titan Chain Square Link tractor tire chains. Now this is going to be a twist link style and really all that means is that the links that actually make up this chain are twisted together. That's going to be the least aggressive type of tire chain, making this a good option for both on and off-road use. Not the most ideal for really icy situations, but if you are going to be driving on pavement or asphalt in addition to off-road, then you want something that's hopefully not going to damage that as much, then something like this that isn't as aggressive is probably the way I'd go. This is also going to be a ladder pattern style chain, and really all that means is that these cross links form this ladder shape. That's going to be really good for giving you traction on starts and stops with your tractor, not so much with turns. The metal is going to be a low carbon steel, and really what that translates to is just not as good of a corrosion resistance as some sort of alloy steel, like a manganese nickel alloy. Really, all that means for you is if you get them wet and dirty, maybe hang them out to dry before packing them away, just to help them last a little bit longer. And then the other thing you'll notice is that we are using a rubber tensioner. There is a fair amount of slack on these because they are meant to fit a wide range of tire sizes for your different tractors. So it's not always gonna be a perfect fit. And one good thing to do is to add that rubber adjuster to pull that slack out, giving you a more safe and secure fit. This isn't included with the chain, but we strongly recommend using them because otherwise you're just not gonna get a good fit and they're not gonna work very well. Now on our John Deere today, we do have tire size 14, 9, 24. If you're looking at this for a different tractor or with a different set of tires, then do make sure you check our website and find the right one for you. You can also check out our video that explains how to measure your tractor tires to find the right chains for you. But like I said, these are meant to fit a range of tire sizes and we've got other options from Titan Chain available here at eTrailer. Aside from that though, Really all you need to know is how to install them. And that process is gonna be pretty straightforward. We'll walk you through that right now. Now to start off your installation, it's a good idea to get the tire chain laid out and make sure that nothing's tangled up. This is a really large set of chains, so making sure that everything's laid out neatly first is gonna help you out in the long run. And there's two methods you can go about this. If it's just you setting this up on your own, lay them out in front of or behind the tire and drive onto the chains. That method's gonna be a little trickier just because you're gonna to have to really get the tire spot on centered on the chain because otherwise it'll be a little bit loose whenever you hook it up. The way we're gonna do it today is with an extra set of hands and I think that's probably gonna be the easier way. We'll drape the chain over top the tire and have someone operate the tractor as we're carefully feeding that chain over top of it. So just watch out for your hands and feet. Don't get caught up in the tire, but you're just going to essentially have someone here to keep it centered as we feed that chain onto the tire. And just make sure, regardless of which method you choose, that this lever is on the outside face of the tire and that these cross links, they're gonna have a more smooth side and a more hooked side. We want that hooked side facing up away from the tread of the tire, just so it doesn't dig in. Okay, I think we're ready to start rolling. Okay. Okay, back a little bit. Good. Keep coming. Stop right there. So as we put the tractor into reverse there, I was just making sure that the chain stayed centered and once the one side popped out from underneath and we could hook the two ends together, that's what we did. It maybe was a little bit hard to see at some points, but having that second set of hands to make sure it's fed on evenly is the way to go. From there, once you've got everything linked up, we've got a mostly good fit, but no tire chain is perfect. That's why we recommend using a rubber tensioner. You can find this if you scroll down on the page in the related parts section on our website. 
and this is just going to apply a little bit of extra tension and pull that slack that remains out of the chain. It doesn't come with the tire chain, but we strongly recommend using them for any set of tire chains, whether it's on your passenger vehicle or your tractor. So I'm just gonna go kind of in a star-shaped pattern here, and that's going to help get us a more secure fit. I'm also gonna hook up in the middle sections of these links between the cross sections, not necessarily on the cross section, but that's going to give us a much better fit. You'd repeat that process on the other side. If things aren't looking super even, like right here, I might wanna just change that over, but that looks pretty good. Once you got the other side done, you're ready to get to work. But that'll do it for our look at and installation of these Titan Chain Twist Link tractor tire chains on our John Deere 2355. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, Aiden here with the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the line of Titan Chain Square Link tractor tire chains.